Hello folks, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're sat on the ground at Humberside Airport. I'm about to go for a flight, but first of all, I thought I could give you a bit of a VR tips and tricks kind of video. In fact, I might make this into a bit of a series if you're interested, sort of a short video showing you something useful. Let me know in the comments. But anyway, this one is all about black levels. Now, unless you have an OLED style headset, the chances are Black levels and night flying is a bit crap, to be honest. I mean, even with the Vario Aero, which actually is very good at night because you get no god rays, which is pretty amazing, it's still not perfect, you know. And like the Reva D2 and the Quest 2, they all suffer from the same thing, and that is grey blacks. Now, thanks to the OpenXR toolkit and also my good friend Uva, or you might know him as Shark, I've nicked his settings actually and just tweaked them a little bit myself um, to basically really help when I'm flying at night time or even sort of, you know, dusk and sunset and that kind of thing. So this is what I use, okay? So if I press Control and F2 using the OpenXR toolkit, and by the way, if you don't know what it is, I'll have a sort of first impressions video linked in the description below, but you really need to check this out, guys, if you haven't already. Press Control F2. Just move along with your Control F3 key or F1 and then press Control F2, go down to your brightness and take it right down to about 40%. Now, depending on the headset you're using, um, with the Varia Aero, I'd recommend 38%, uh, but with the uh, Reverb G2, I think 40% is quite good. Your contrast, I'd recommend that at 50.10. That really does help as well, in my personal opinion. And of course, you can change things like the wheel scale and all host of other features as well. But for this video, we're checking out the black levels. Now, what that means is just taking down the brightness. It's very simple, folks. I'm now going to go to nighttime and I'll see you in a moment and I'll explain what it feels like. Right, so welcome back once again, folks. This is full on nighttime mode now at Humberside, and I have to say it's definitely a marked improvement. Quite a difference, in fact, especially when I look right up at the sky. Sorry, that's my Discord channel going off. <laughs> um, it's not a grey anymore, it's more of an inky black. Um, that's remarkable, isn't it? I mean, it's never going to compete against OLED levels of black, okay? This is not a game changer. I'm not trying to make this sound better than what it is. However, I think this is definitely going to please many people who fly at night time. Look at that moon. You see, that's still really bright. It still looks really, really good, but you've just got those deeper black levels, which definitely make a difference. I hope that's of some interest to you guys, and please feel free to try it. It's a very simple thing to try. If you don't like it, just stick it back up to uh, 50% again. Um, by the way, I'm going to arrange a community flight this Sunday. We're going to be flying in the Picos de Ropa region. It'll be at 6 p.m. UK time. Please join my Discord server for the flight plan. And that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.